Assalamualaikum, Namaste, Namaskara. This is Shalun Zakaria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be making some kick-ass prawn curry. We got about half a kilo of prawns here and the ingredients that we're going to be using is all around here. I've got some onions, the big onions and small onions and I've got some curry leaves, some uh, ginger and garlic and some uh, slit chili, green chili. I've got some tomatoes and I've got some um, curry leaves and some coriander powder. And along with it, I've got some uh, tamarind, that's regular tamarind that's been uh, soaking in water for a while now. And I've got the clay pot which is ready. And mommy dear is going to make some kick-ass prawn curry for us today. So we're going to be adding in some coconut oil first. So we're going to wait till that heats up a little now. First up, we're going to be adding some uh, fenugreek seeds into the oil. And we're going to wait, wait until that crackles up a little. Once the seeds starts crackling up, um, we're going to be adding some mustard seeds into it. Next up, we're going to be adding in the slit green chilli. The ginger and garlic that we've cut into small bits. And my mum happened to, uh, you know, pound them a little, just so they get smashed a little bit, not too much. We're going to be, we're not going to be using uh, ginger garlic paste in this curry. So, so the ginger and garlic that we've cut is more than sufficient. Good. Next up, we're going to be adding some onions. The small and the, the big onions together. So we took about uh, say one big onion and about four or five small onions. We're going to be sauteing this for about uh, you know, five or ten minutes until they turn slightly brown. Once we got the onions slightly brown, we're going to be adding in some turmeric powder. And while that is being sorted out, um, I'm going to give a small tip on buying some good prawns because uh, the prawns we got here are actually small in size and these are more of shrimps and these are the kind of prawns that you need to be using because um, the smaller the size of the prawns the better tasting they are so just keep it in mind when you're going to go shopping the next time so next up we're going to be adding some salt to taste And once you add in the turmeric, you know, the color of the whole masala and, and the base turns yellow and that already makes it really good in contrast to the uh, the vessel we've got here to fry. Uh, the onions are fried and turned light brown and we added the turmeric and now we're going to be adding some tomato. And we're going to give this a quick stir. As the tomatoes and onions are being fried, we've got some uh, coconut paste. Uh, made with raw coconut, grated coconut and uh, some jeera to go with it and this has been grinded in the mixer with just a little bit of water, not too much and we've got it in a pretty thick consistency so this is going to be a key element and ingredient for the prawn curry which is going to taste, which is going to make it taste really good Next up we're going to be adding about 2 tablespoons of uh, red chilli into the curry And that's what gives it the spice and next we're going to be adding in some uh, Kashmiri chilli. This is mainly for the colour because we do not use any food colour at home and this is about one tablespoon of it. And that's what is going to add on to the colour of the curry because the normal red chilli is the, the hot red chilli is what adds on to the spice and the red, uh, the Kashmiri red chilli is for the colour. And we're going to give this a quick mix. Once we've given that a mix, we're going to be adding in some uh, coriander powder, about uh, one and a half tablespoons of it, and that should be good. And next up, we're going to be mixing it well, and uh, we're going to cook it until the raw flavor of the masalas and the powders diminish. Okay, next up, the, the coconut paste is ready to go in now. So we're going to be adding in about... Um, the whole thing, this is close to about 250 to 300ml of coconut paste, this is not coconut milk. Uh, please note that because uh, this is very thick in consistency and we are going to be adding in some water in the same vessel that we took it out from to be uh, making the gravy a little thin. And post this we are now going to be adding more water into it and uh, I think this is more than sufficient and we are going to give the masala a mix before we add the prawns in. Once we are done mixing the masalas with the gravy. Uh, we're going to be leaving the flame on high and we're going to wait the gravy to get into a, to a slight boil and uh, my mom's mixing up some uh, tamarind water here so that is going to go into the curry as well 
Once the timeline is mixed along with the gravy, we're gonna let the gravy rest on high on me on low flame and uh, we're gonna leave it for about 10 to 12 minutes and wait until the gravy comes in the good boil and uh, we want we want the raw flavor of all the masalas and everything to diminish and uh, soak into the vegetables that we added in so until then we're gonna leave this covered and we're gonna be waiting for this to come at a boil and then add the prawns in The fish curry smells so good, I can't resist myself from trying it because check this out, you know, this is how it is boiling and I'm so close to it, I'm taking in all the essence and the flavors inside. <sighs> I've got a spoon and I'm going to be tasting this right now and my mom's here on the frame. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so let's give this a taste. <laughs> Don't mind me because I'm all sweaty but I just can't resist myself to take another you know sip of the, the gravy and the masala because this is just mind blowing. <laughs> this is out of the world guys. This is something that my mom never usually makes a lot of seafood at home and at very rare circumstances she does and it just turns out to be so good and so amazing because we are more of, we're more of uh, mutton eaters and chicken eaters at home uh, not a lot of seafood goes into our diet but when she makes it she shows absolute wonders in making it because this curry is out of the world okay so we've got our curry boiling here for the last 10 minutes now and it seems to be cooked pretty well and I tried the gravy it is just heaven trust me so my mom's trying to slit the prawns and see if it is cooked or not when though so I think uh, it has to cook for a little longer not for too long though Malayalam. <laughs> so my mother is actually you know asking me to uh, vlog in Malayalam or talk to you all in Malayalam so I'm not too good at my Malayalam so if I make any mistakes do forgive me and uh, we have not been too much to Kerala and stuff so we, I don't really I, I can't really speak fluent Malayalam so whatever I can so do bear with it so the next frame you're gonna see is gonna be in Malayalam so just because my mom asked me to we will see that so here it goes my Malayalam is absolutely bad guys again forgive me if I'm gonna make any mistakes Ipo curry is good when the tender, uh, chemi na idle. So the prawns are cooked really well. The prawns are the chemi. Chemi na na idle when the tender gravy, gravy na 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 idle. Nalla nalla orna thicka idle. So over a patte patte nange minute minute na amle adne moodi vache kine. So ipo the Nalona when the Tony, Nalona Masala flavor of Pitchi Tony, Sartana Lampona Korchu, Ulua and Podiana, the VT Portisan, isn't it? Ulua Podi. So either basically taste none. So just so just so all you uh, English viewers or any other language speaking viewers know what we're doing. This is some fenugreek powder. Uh, my mom's added about two teaspoons of it in the end, along with some. Pepper, like a like half a teaspoon of pepper, just for the taste pepper and nothing powder. more. The the, the the pepper powder again. I'm sorry. Kurumalu mm -hmm. pudi. So, half a teaspoon kurumalu pudi. I will say it. Take it. Along with about uh, one and a half teaspoons of uh, fenugreek powder, and finally we're gonna add in the curry leaves and the coriander. So, bagatne, karvepilum, malliyilum, cheerthite, cheerthido. 
so that's a lot of my I think my Malayalam was better so anyway guys curry is better thing to eat 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 and uh, if you all like this video and if you all liked how um, my mom cooks do mention in the comment box below and do like the videos and make sure you all share my content guys that's the most important thing that you all can do for me and that's like the most uh, you know meaningful thing you can do for me because i want to grow in this and i need all your love and all your uh, you know uh, wishes and everything as such so that i can make more videos like this so that it motivates me to make more videos and more content for you all and to bring the best that i can you know uh, to you all and moro guys this is the first video i've been shooting with uh, my brand new dslr the canon eos 90d uh, do mention down in the, in the comment box below as to how the the quality and clarity of the camera is and how the video is turned out to be thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all soon in another video with probably another dish or another travel video let's see how it goes until then stay at home guys the lockdown does not mean that it has ended and you'll not have to get out and go about here and there stay at home stay at home stay protected i'll see you all soon